Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Legend of Runeterra. This time we are playing the Damasian Elite Squad. This deck is made to have as many elites as possible and uh, a balanced composition of champions with Lucian first, one mana cost, quick attack, two damage. Once he see four allies or an ally Sana die, he evolve and now each round, the first time an ally die, he can rally, so he get the attack token. Following that we have Garen, who once he strike two times, give other uh, once he summon, he give other allies plus one attack and defense this round. It, when he strike twice, he will evolve and each round he can rally. I'll write my own story. Next we have Jarvan, who once an ally survives three strikes, he will evolve. And if he is in hand, once he attack, Once we attack, he will stop as long as we have enough mana. So, uh, he will. Uh, well, if you have enough mana, he will attack, challenging the strongest enemy. All of this while having barriers, so he will negate the next damage the unit will take for this round. Once he evolve each round, he get Cataclysm, which allow him to challenge an enemy. And when he challenge an enemy, he get barrier again. Okay. Now, most of our units has the effect of reducing the cost or interacting one way or another with other elite units like Vanguard Squire which when summoned when you summon an elite reduce my cost by one or uh, Ardent Tracker which when you summon an elite reduce my cost by one basically the same thing now if I If I use, for example, uh, Silverwing Vanguard, which allow me to summon two copy of itself, they are both elite. That would mean that Vanguard Squire is free, and I still have two mana to uh, two spell mana to spend. If I summon Vanguard Squire, Ardent Tracker will become one mana cost, etc. and one mana, mana cost, the other will be two. I summon the other, etc. etc. But for now, I need a starving strike. Since I am going to challenge Kalista, Now, I need Kalista to die, and I need more units of mine to die, four units to be exact. So I am going to use a Straffing Strike to deal three damage to Kalista. Plus the three damage from Silverwing Vanguard should do the trick. Now two units died, the last one, and Lucian evolved. Now one of my allies died, so not only did Lucian evolve ga gaining quick attack, double attack sorry, which means he strike twice, I also get a rally, so I can deal three more damage for free.
So now I am going to use pick uh, scrutinizing uh, sergeant, which when we play him will allow me to pick a unit from the top five card of my deck that costs three or less, summon it and place the rest in your deck. Okay, I only have the same one. The fact that I summoned two elite mean my ardent tracker are free to be summoned. They are all scouts with 5 HP, so I can use them for a quick interaction. So I can attack for free uh, next round, but a smarter move will be to attack with everything I have. And hope he doesn't have a spell like that one. Okay. The fact that I survived now, I have three units that survived damage, mean that when I attack next round with Jarvin in hand, okay, unlucky for him. So I have for the falling, when you summon an elite it reduces the cost by one, I don't need it, I have enough mana. For each ally that died this round, I can summon Dauntless Vanguard, the elite units for Damasia. I think he's going to give up now, right? He has only two mana and next round I can free attack. Well, that's it guys, hope you liked the video, if you do please share, subscribe, put the notification button and put in the comment what other champions or deck you'd like to see next. Ciao!